welcome back to seven engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will show you steel reinforcement details in which we have more than five big mistakes in the construction of this plinth beam so let's get started guys if you have any question related to this short video so you can comment i will try to reply your answer guys you can see clearly this is plinth beam which depth is 15 inches width is 12 inches on the top of this plinth beam they placed the steel reinforcement for plinth beam construction you can see we have two steel rods at the bottom and three at the top so this is one of the big mistake that's why because in this plinth beam we are providing more numbers of steel rods at bottom portion because this is tension zone and concrete is weak in tension so therefore we are placing maximum numbers compared to its upper portion are in compression zone second guys you can see we have three steel rods in upper portion are in compression zone where we required minimum numbers of steel rods compared to its bottom so this is one of the big mistake the second big mistake guys you can see this is the end of the beam but they didn't provide any development length which is very important to make a good bond between steel and concrete but unfortunately they placed they didn't place the development length guys you can see clearly they cut the steel rods with the level of rcc column the third mistake guys you can see the spacing of stirrups with hooks guys you can see we have two steel rods dia is 12 millimeter and three three bars in upper portion where we have three bars dia is 12 millimeter next guys you can see the spacing of the stirrups which is maximum here but this is not the proper steel reinforcement for this plinth beam that's why because the spacing is here at the distance of l by 4 about 8 to 9 inches and the hooks are bent on 90 degree but it should be provided on 135 degree when we place the hooks are bent the hooks on 135 degree so it's resist with earthquake but this angle which is 90 degree in the in these stirrups so it can't work properly against the earthquake next guys you can see the spacing is here about 12 inches so this is not the proper steel reinforcement design in the construction of this plinth beam next guys you can see this is end of this beam but they didn't provide any development length as i told you before on the other side if you see the lipping length which is not sufficient which is about here 12 inches but it should not be less than 50 to 60 d where d is die of steel rod for this 12 millimeter die of steel rod we required minimum 24 inches lapping length guys you can see here this is about 9 to 10 inches but at the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment we should place the stirrups closely next guys you can see an upper portion of lapping they provided lapping at the middle but these are th three rods about guys you can see that is the other beam in bottom we have two steel rods in upper portion we have three steel rods but they didn't provide at the end of the beam development length which is very important guys you can see clearly this is one of the mega projects so for that reason they should use the structural drawing according to structural drawing they should place the steel reinforcement for plinth beam for column and also they should provide those technical terms which are very important and helpful for construction site but they didn't follow any technical term in this steel reinforcement details here guys you can see everything is wrong but if you see the length or the span between two column is here about 18 feet I don't know 
which grade of concrete they will use for this construction. I am wondering when I am guiding you for this steel reinforcement because everything is wrong in this construction. They used about 6 mm die of steel rod for stirrups and 12 mm for plinth beam. Hope this short video can help you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.